Hello, sunglasses saved the answer here, and also here is Cat Burglar Nami. She has made a comeback. It's the doll here on my left side. And so, um, the doll is produced. Uh, Oh, let's go in the right order. So uh, the doll was sold to me by a uh, Rosemary Dolls, Rosemary Doll, and it was produced by Elsa Babe. And this is a happy video. This is this is a really happy video. I wanted to do this video right away because I'm so happy and because uh, at the Rosemary Dolls. And I probably think at Elsa Bay people are really non happy right now towards me. Uh, since, uh, well, uh, I'm getting a new body for Nami because, uh, because of uh, Elsa Bay will gift me one, but only one more if it gets broken again then I'm on my own but uh, I want to clear one thing instantly about this issue um, that uh, it, it made Rosemary doll angry towards me and I probably think Elsa babe too but I have only heard from uh, Rosemary doll so let's clear this one that there is no misunderstanding so rosemary doll uh, sold me the doll and elsa babe made the doll the doll was in perfect shape when it was shipped i was never shipped a broken doll this is what they are angry towards me not because i spoke out or anything else because I didn't say that the doll was sent broken. Of course, if the doll was sent broken and I did an unboxing video, they instructed me to do an unboxing video. If the doll was sent broken, I would have like, like shown them the unboxing video. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I can even put the unboxing video on my YouTube channel or like I can take a picture of it if it's broken I, I'm not that stupid I, I've done like YouTube for one year uh, on my previous channel I've uh, started this channel from scratch so I know how to use a camera by now Okay, so, uh, but there is a misunderstanding in the title. The title of my previous video, I got a broken doll from Rosemary Doll and Elsa Bay. But uh, what I meant by that is not that it arrived broken. Even the picture that they showed to me, it was in perfect condition. I agreed that they will send me this perfect doll. And so it's not at all. If anyone got this misunderstanding, I, I, I got to correct it. The doll was in perfect shape when it arrived. But what was my 40-minute uh, rant about the doll was that uh, it was supposed to last for 2 years to 10 years. It didn't last even a month and it was broken. Broken beyond repair. And this is the issue. And like I told you in the last video, uh, I, I didn't do it, <laughs> I didn't do it, it was not me, I didn't break the doll, I didn't do anything kinky that 
actually would have broken the doll. Um, I like this is hard to say for me, but uh, uh, I told you in the last video that uh, I went to this surgery because sex hurt with my last, uh, fir last and first and last girlfriend. Yeah, I'm my only one. When I was uh, 18 years old, uh, nearing 19 years, uh, but uh, like, uh, well, it lasted for a year. I was 18, uh, 17 when it started. So, uh, sex hurt with my first girlfriend and uh, my younger brother had too tight foreskin as a young boy. He was uh, sent to surgery because he had hard chips with peeing. So uh, I thought that, okay, this must be a too tight foreskin thing. And I was like, okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, but uh, I told my parents about it, my father, and my father was like, maybe your uh, foreskin will stretch over time. And I was like, yeah, but the sex really hurts. And like, uh, of course, it can stretch, but um, what about my younger brother? He went to doctor, and then my father took me to a private doctor. A elderly man who uh, then said that no, it's not your foreskin, it's a uh, tendon underneath your penis that is too short. And and he said that uh, okay, we need to do a little anesthesia and it will take only five minutes and then it's uh, like good. Uh, <laughs> then you're normal. But um, I, I was like uh, prepared for a little nick on the like foreskin. I was not ready to uh, like have a tendon moved. So I didn't want to go to the surgery. So I said, uh, uh, if you are so convinced that uh, this is because of the tendon is too short, then do the. Uh, and if like the surgery only takes five minutes, then do it without anesthesia. I don't like meds. And the doctor said yes. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, now I should like uh, run, but uh, because he's going to stab me in the penis without anesthesia, but. Uh, I didn't want to appear as a coward to the doctor, so it was like, uh, I think it was like uh, ego versus ego, who is going to give up first, and I thought that, like, you know, for the full time that this is a doctor, he knows what he's doing, but when he stabbed me in the penis without anesthesia, like, yeah, on the tendon, underneath your penis, it's like the most sensitive spot on the male body. The most sensitive spot. So, I tried to kick the man in the head, because it hurt so much. At the same time, I tried to get back at the, like, the chair, but of course you can't get back in like those surgery chairs that are made in that way that you can't like move away from the doctor and he's performing a surgery on you so without even thinking I tried to kill the man the kick was like a horse's kick and it went like way over his head he ducked really fast too fast for an old man he didn't do it on purely on reflex, he was waiting for a reaction and he got one and it almost cost his life and he yelled like there was a female nurse like anesthesia now <laughs> and I got 
uh, really strong medication after that and I was do the pain shock and the medication I was hallucinating for the whole five minute surgery I don't know if it was five minutes but that's what he promised but uh, I was watching the ceiling and I saw like a grid that was covering the air ventilation and I saw the grid move like uh, electric stairs in stores like the whole time it was moving in my eyes so after that I became um, hypersensitive I uh, got this diagnosed on like it's urologist in Finland so male genitalia expert of has told me that it's entirely possible that you became hypersensitive due to this uh, strange uh, procedure. So what? Why am I talking about this? So I said that I didn't do anything kinky with the doll. I didn't bend it out of shape. I didn't take a hammer and bash it. Uh, nothing like that to make it break and I didn't use it too much in any strange way I use it very little because uh, I became so hypersensitive that even with my first girlfriend I couldn't have normal sex without like masturbating before sex it was really embarrassing and I even didn't dare to talk about my girlfriend about the issue and I felt like really bad like really like cheating on my girlfriend with the porn because uh, I, before every sex and it, it, it ruined my uh, like dating like it was horrible the whole year was horrible on this death dating yeah I didn't enjoy it and that is why the girlfriend pretty much left me she said that uh, she felt that I was not interested in her anymore I wasn't I'm not interested in women because I'm hypersensitive and I didn't uh, use this doll so much uh, that it broke I, I like used it like a uh, less than normal person like 30 seconds maybe a week that's what I can do that's why I don't have a girlfriend I'm like unfit for marriage uh, well there is been like three types of people unfit for marriage the Bible uh, recognizes people that are unfit for marriage from the bare bird well I was not that kind of if well if my destiny is to become the Christian chosen one and the Christian uh, like uh, well I am the Christian chosen one already but uh, if my destiny is to become the Christian pirate king maybe I was not uh, meant to have a woman in my life from the birth but uh, then there is like the persons that are made unfit for marriage and this is mainly like uh, persons uh, like un eunuchs in the past that have, uh, have their testicles removed but uh, like uh, in my case this is it I was made unfit for marriage in this uh, surgery and then there is the third type that the ones that are uh, unfit for marriage because they live for the kingdom of God and this refers to the monks and the nuns but uh, well I, I'm pretty much a monk uh, <laughs> I'm uh, like a real Christian zealot and like uh, I really believe so uh, I pretty much live like a monk so 
and I live for the kingdom of God, so it's not for me. Marriage and children, it's not for me. That's why I have the dough. And since I'm talking about the doll now, Nami has came back and well, like I said, I will be getting a new body for her because the, this body is broken. I, I kept that body to like oh, no, that body, that doll, I kept her two days in the closet. And I was like, I can't look at her, I'm going to return her, and yes, that's, that was supposed to happen since uh, I had like, uh, I noticed that uh, like uh, my sink was leaking, like uh, little water drops, uh, like uh, on the wood, so there was a uh, danger of uh, water damage in the, this uh, rental apartment so I called uh, like to the ha handyman <laughs> like a uh, repair guy and he was like uh, say, asking me if he can come here with the uh, like the like uh, what is this master key? They, can he come with the skeleton key if this is Zelda? And I said, of course. You are like a, when he he came first here when I was around here and he couldn't get it done at the first time. He needed some other equipment uh, and like uh, some I guess some like rubber that he can could block the leaking a uh, sink so uh, uh, like and I he didn't ca come like uh, it was like uh, it Friday and it's week is going to end he didn't come at the like the first day of the week at Monday but he came at like Tuesday and I did. I, I like called him at Monday, and he said that he will leave a like note when he has come and gone here. And and I noticed that the he it, the name was Nico on the like it's a like perfectly normal Finnish name. Actually, it's, it's I think it's so cool of a name that I thought that uh, if I ever had a family and I had a son, I would name the son Nico. But. Uh, uh, and I never thought about uh, like a woman's name. I could come up with a name for a girl, but I guess that's me. I'm unfit for marriage, and I think that is cool that I find Nico so cool name as Nika is the character that is um, that monkey D Luffy in One Piece protagonist. Well, like his uh, devil fruit is based off, yeah, and I'm like devil fruit is based off Jesus, <laughs> yeah, a mythical zone type Jesus, yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's go to the thing that I want to talk about. When I was saying I'm gonna talk about the dolls, I just had to like uh, tell you more about what has happened. So I guess Nami had to be in the closet for two days, so I didn't embarrass myself, <laughs> or I don't know if I did embarrass myself since I had left the door open at the closet if Nico uh, looked at the closet he would saw the doll there <laughs> but I think my uh, like uh, the, the entrance to my like uh, apartment was so dark that he couldn't see it but uh, yeah I don't mind if he saw it but I will mind if he touched it <laughs> yeah but I don't think so, he was an honest man. But 
talking of Nikos, when I will be getting this second body, uh, I already was thinking uh, since I will be getting a second head, since I uh, like took 12 potholes that was uh, like a uh, how would you say? Like Elsa Babe agreed that these are good photos. I sent them first 12 packs of 12 photos that are were so good. No editing and well, they weren't exactly good. Not great for uh, like uh, trying to sell your doll. So at the second time I sent them 50 photos so they could choose and I edited everyone so I got the like second head and that they were offering I was thinking maybe I would go for a Nico Robin look but I just thought that uh, since I will be doing like uh, at some point when uh, this there is only one tattooist in uh, this uh, city I'm living in, in Lapland and she is on mother's leave. Maybe when she uh, comes back I can get her to do a tattoo on Nami. I want uh, Nami's tattoo on her shoulder so I just thought that uh, I'm, I'm gonna like tattoo this doll that uh, I, I just uh, also, uh, like, uh, why would I break the doll if I was gonna tattoo it? I even talked with the, like, uh, the customer service on uh, Rosemary doll and they just said, to, and Elsa babe said that I should use the sticker and I have the tattoo sticker on her, uh, like, uh, left shoulder with a uh, it doesn't stay there, it's with uh, like silicon tape there. And uh, so, but uh, when the next buddy comes, I need to buy a camera because uh, I really, really want uh, to use this body. I'll be I don't need to send this body away. I can do Nico Robin. I'll just. Uh, I think uh, it's like already too far in the development that I I choose to have a second head for Nami if it breaks, a uh, spare head. So I think I will be needing to buy that. Um, Nico Robin's head and it's 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 fine since I have like 500 points that are like uh, they're like um, going to go old like uh, I can't use them on like the, the 9th of July like 9th day of the next month so uh, I need to use them or something and I really don't know what to do with them <laughs> so I asked uh, if I can get the Nico Robbins head but uh, you all know that One Piece has like a really distinctive faces on the characters especially on all the straw hat pirates so uh, Nico Robin has this Roman type nose like uh, no other, I haven't seen any other anime character with that type of nose. Like if Nami here, she doesn't have that kind of nose. She's like, uh, that's just typical anime nose. Nico Robin's nose would be like a really like a Roman nose. But there isn't any kind of that in the like Elsa Babes uh, like anime doll uh, what the heads collection nothing no anime doll has that kind of nose so I ask if I can get a custom made nose but I think not I think they are like they have molds and 
for the silicone and they make them with those and but if I can get the, like a, just the nose of the Nicorabin done it will look enough Nicorabin for me to buy it so and use the points on it I don't know how much the points are worth but uh, yeah so uh, that's something I'm looking forward to having like two dolls on the either side um, like uh, uh, like I said with Nami I'm feeling uh, uh, like Arlong I have snatched him from the straw hats and now I'm feeling like uh, the l leader of uh, the CP9 the, the really weak guy with the uh, sword like uh, like what it was it was a sword that had eaten a elephant devil fruit I can't remember his name but but I only remember that his mask is the same as mankind Mick Foley's mask on uh, show wrestling was and Mick Foley himself was like he was told that hey your mask is on this one character uh, who actually says the mankind his uh, wrestling name he speaks about mankind the CP9 leader uh, but uh, I he like was like snatching Robin but he was really beating her so I was gonna say I feel like Rob Lucci. Let's stick to those that Luffy kicked. Her. <laughs> Whose ass is Luffy kicked? Uh, yeah. The Rob Lucci is much cooler than the boss of CP9. But uh, yeah, I don't like Arnold. I don't like CP9. They are bad guys. I like Luffy. <laughs> I like to watch Luffy beat those guys. I really get into the anime. I, I want to see them like get their asses kicked, and I they always feel like they're a lot, a lot unbeatable. But then Luffy will get the job done. So uh, I I actually was like uh, also asking now that I'm really happy with the company like rosemary dolls and elsa but this if there is anything extra that i can buy if uh like tell me i i'm open to suggestions i i, I want to now like uh to um uh, support you if i can buy something extra for the dolls that means so much to me the two days without the dollar like hell yeah it really, the host really felt like uh, it was empty. Small apartment felt empty. So I will be using my money now on like my computer. I want it to work. I want to be able to do YouTube. And I want to buy YouTube equipment. But I'm really, really happy how this all turned out. Out. It went as I hoped it would, and I didn't expect. I thought it would be like a, maybe a possibility that they would like say that you can keep the body, but uh, because it's just hassle to send it back to China. But uh, I could. I thought that they would want the skeleton or uh, like back or something maybe they could even melt the silicone and do something maybe it I don't know but uh no they just said that you keep the the broken skin uh, skeleton and the skin we will send you a new one like that's so generous so I'm I, I'm like top of the world I'm really happy and I will be like getting. I, I thought that uh, I wouldn't like uh, 
be able to afford for a Nico Robin doll for a while, but I will be getting Nico Robin doll. I will make that second doll, and you will see it on the YouTube. But okay, we have hit the 30 minutes mark, it's time to end. Uh, I want to end on these words. Um, I take back what I said that uh, I don't recommend uh, Rosemary Dolls and Elsa Baby. I'm going to say the exact opposite. I recommend 100% fully my ha uh, not my hands but my mic on the Bible. I recommend Rosemary Doll. I recommend Elsa Babe. These are like the best uh, dolls in the stock. When I bought these dolls, I read that if you want to buy a doll, you can buy like the really expensive ones. But uh, even with the expensive ones, these dolls, these dolls that Rosemary sells that Elsa Babe produces. They have like the most realistic feeling skin. It is it it, it is realistic feeling skin. And I think I would be disappointed if I bought one of those uh, really expensive ones and they didn't feel realistic. It's better to buy like the cheaper one if it's more realistic. That's what you want, a realistic one. You might want a, like a real woman looking doll. I, I, I'm such a One Piece fan living in my One Piece is real fantasy, so I want that uh, Nami doll. Now I'm getting Nico Robin doll. I just need to pay for the head. So that's it. That's it. That's all I got to say. So uh, if you got something to say, if you got uh, the need to sing the praises of uh, like a Rosemary doll or uh, Elsa Payne, do it. Give them a nice comment. They were so nice to me. They were so nice. Uh, I'm I'm happy. I can't say anything more. Uh, if you want to talk about the dolls, let's do it. If you want to talk about One Piece, let's do it. Otherwise, I will continue my journey to becoming the Christian King of the Pirates. Yes. So, thank you. Goodbye.